Hey guys, Luke Nuke. Okay, so today um, I wanted to share with you my thoughts um, on the uh, system requirements for Battlefield 4. Um, no doubt all of you have seen this um, this picture I'm showing here. Uh, system requirements, if you haven't seen it, well, there they are, minimum and recommended. Um, now, obviously it's uh, what, about three days, four days before uh, the beta version comes out and um, about a month now before um, the full version gets released so we're all getting quite excited about it, well I know I am anyway and uh, if you're watching my channel then I guess you're into Battlefield as much as I am so you must be getting pretty excited but there's one thing that jumps out in these uh, requirements that glaringly jumps out at me um, and that is this the operating system Windows 8 now I'm running, uh, what have I got, Windows 7 Ultimate, have done for a while, and I haven't made the jump to Windows 8 because, you know, I've heard from everybody, it's horrible, is what everybody says, it's just this appy kind of mess that you can't find anything, anything goes wrong with your PC, you can't work out where anything are, your settings, it's horrible mess. Um, so I've just steered clear of it like the plague. Um, but, you know, it says here it's the recommended settings. Now, I've looked about a bit and it's clear that there is going to be a boost in performance by having Windows 8, certainly for playing Battlefield 4, if not many of the other new games that are coming out. I mean, I, I can't clarify that. I have no evidence to back that up, but, you know, it looks like it might be going that way. looks like it's going that way to me anyway. So, you know, that leaves me a bit concerned and, you know, I know myself and I think well if there's going to be a performance boost to be had by getting Windows 8 then I know I'm greedy so I know I'm probably going to go with it. Um, but you know there's the new, we've got the new Windows 8.1 that's coming out in I think that's the 18th of October, 17th, 18th of October I've, I've read. That's due to be released and there's obviously the, um, the trial version out at the moment, I haven't got that myself. but I'm going to put a link in the description below uh, to a video. Um, there's lots of videos out there. Uh, just a guy running through, you know, the what it's like, the new 8.1. And this 8.1, I believe, has got a lot of features designed for desktop people like me and, and hopefully like you guys, if, if you know, if you run the same sort of setup as I am. You know, keyboard, mouse, you know, you haven't got a touch screen. Um, to make Windows 8 more usable for us guys, it's got um, you know they've introduced, brought back the the desktop, so you've got your proper actual desktop, which we all need. Uh, your start button, things like that. They're bringing them all back for 8.1. It's what I've heard and it's the, it's what I've understood to the best of my knowledge. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Like, um, there's a lot of features that are still there from you know the old Windows 8. They're still going very very appy kind of like you're working on a phone touchscreen iPhone type situation which I don't like um, but uh, but I'm told it runs a lot faster runs a lot better in general let alone running games off it which like I said there's a boost to be had now as I said uh, I know that if there's a boost to be had I'm probably gonna forego the pain in the ass of all the appy shit that you gotta sort out I'm gonna forego that just because I, I want to see those extra few frames per second and and I want my computer to start up that bit quicker you know I just have the need for the speed the need for the power but what do you guys think about this new 8.1 um, I'm really interested to know I mean I, I, I don't know that much about 8.1 other than what I've told you guys and, and the link I'm gonna put down there but are you gonna upgrade to 8.1 are you gonna upgrade to 8 do you have 8 already or are you going to stick with Windows 7? Um, if I do if I do upgrade to 8.1, which I you know probably sure I'm going to, uh, I'm probably going to give away my old uh, Windows 7 Ultimate. Probably do a competition to give away one of my famous giveaways. <laughs> Not so famous, uh, but I'll probably, probably do a giveaway, give that away to some guys. But um, yeah, like I say, I'm interested to know what other people think. What are you doing for Battlefield 4 um, operating system wise? How do you feel about this? Are you going to make the leap or are you not going to make the leap? Are you sticking to your guns or are you jumping in? Uh, let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments and I'll reply because I, I'm quite interested about this topic myself. So, um, yeah, if you like this uh, video, uh, give me a like. If you didn't like it, don't bother, as always. Um, but I'm interested. If you didn't like it, even if you didn't like the video, I'm very interested to know 
what your few what your views are on uh, window 8.1 uh, or 8.2 that I've heard about <laughs> is that coming okay thanks a lot see you in the next one